Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can complete the data contract. Now this one out of all of them so far that I've done, and this is the fifth one I've done out of six, this one took the longest to complete because of just how many driving there was, and that doesn't make any sense. But basically the first prep you're going to need to do is fly to the power station, and you're going to have to follow this sky lift here. It will take you to a bunker and drop a crate, don't worry about the crate, nothing to do with that. You just want to go up to the bunker and take a photo of the front door, and then you need to chase after a barrage. And this thing here is so annoying to chase. It took me ages. The strategy that I figured out doing was just uh, drive away from the direction that it's going and then get a sniper out, snipe the driver. Because if you're going to try and drive by this guy, he's literally crazy. Especially if it's raining for you as well. This guy will not die if you're drive by with him. Unless you're like sick, because I'm not. Uh, so hopefully this helps with the first prep. I'll let the rest of the gameplay play out and then I'll come back to talk when the second prep comes up. Now for this prep, I actually recommend not doing it. Just don't do it at all. Just start it and then wait 10 minutes, do something else because you, the stuff that you get in this is completely pointless. You don't have to use it and it doesn't really help you anyway. As you can see in this gameplay right now, I'm gonna avoid picking up the anti-aircraft trailer because I'm really not gonna use it. And I thought, what's the point? If, especially if you're solo. Maybe if you're co-op, you could probably get away with doing the insurgent and the guns just because it would make it more easier to kill the guys with the insurgent with cop but on solo it's so easy just to do the finale just w hide and camp in a room i'll show you later on in the video as well so here you can see i'm literally just waiting for the time to run out uh, so that i can start the finale and now that we're into the finale there's a bit of driving all the way back to the bunker but once you're in there you'll recognize the bunker and you've just got to fight through a load of enemies just be careful of the spawns as well. I'll show you the, my full gameplay so you can see everything that I did in the bunker. I'm not going to cut it or anything. Um, so, yeah, if you don't have any snacks, there's also vending machines. So you can just eat food from a vending machine if it's safe. Um, so just be careful of the random spawns and just keep taking cover and stuff. And you should be good. Once you're down there, you're looking for the service stacks. That's where these drives going to be plugged in. Damn, sounds like a party down there. Yo, y'all good? As long as they still shooting, I know y'all ain't dead. When you find them, you don't gotta be gentle with this shit, y'all. Just yank it out. Oh, damn. That's cold, baby. Shit. So what's on these drives, babe? And don't be saying you don't know. Nah, for real, girl, I don't know. He didn't say nothing. Who, Ivy? Nah, he said the less we know about this Don Percival fool, the better. I bet it's political. Soon as your ass is on them bunkers with secret files and shit, it's always political. Political, criminal, it's the same shit. I don't care if it's ass prints from the grassy knoll. Long as it's profitable, I don't give a fuck. How we doing? You getting them?
Come on, let's go. This shit ain't rocket science. How you know? Maybe that's what's on them jobs, babe. All right, well, stealing rocket science ain't rocket science, y'all. Double time, let's go. Then drive hard, right? Oh, babe, now we on some poetry shit? <laughs> You're killing me. Soon as you got them all, get the hell out of that death trap. See you up top, yo. Okay, now that you've just done the bunker part and now you're trying to escape, I recommend going straight to the train tracks and following that all the way down to Elysian Island. So here's the train track here. I don't know if you probably knew this, uh, but if you didn't, you can literally follow the train track here onto the island. You don't need to go across the bridge and going on the train track will avoid all of the Merryweather vehicles. You'll still have the helicopter coming after you, but if you're driving fast on the train track, it's not going to be a problem at all. Uh, I did end up dying because I took the road and I spun out and Merryweather truck just crashed into me and shot the hell out of me and I was dead. So don't go take the road, definitely go for the train track. Now that you've reached Abby Swartzman, he's in this little hut here. Can you hear my duck quacking? Can you hear my duck quacking? Leave a comment if you can hear the duck. Uh, anyway, so in this room here you place your little dives, dives, drives into one of the boxes and it will start a load of enemies coming to attack him. Now Swartzman doesn't have that much health, he takes probably 6 or 7 shots to die, so just literally camp in this room. I'm using the sharpshooter loadout, so I've got the mini SMG and the heavy sniper, Mark II. I would totally recommend using these for all of your things because of the uh, sticky bombs that you get with them can be very, very helpful for most of these things. So as you can see here, I'm just camping in the room, shooting the enemies as they come up here. And when he's done, I'm going to run out with sticky bombs and blow up the vehicles. Or as if you can see them, blow them up from the building, but just be careful not to get stuck. Now once it comes up with the objective, take out remaining enemies. Just get a burst of confidence and run out and snipe these snipers. Be careful of the guys that are on the ground shooting. I mean, they're not that annoying because most of them just take cover all the time. But you can snipe these helicopters fairly easily, as you're going to see here. I'm just sniping them and they don't even really shoot at me. They do shoot at me, but they don't hit me. Um, but if you're out there for too long, they will probably end up killing you because they did also end up killing me. Uh, but of course, this is the guide. I don't want to show you the long, boring fails because, again, I almost died then, actually. Uh, but I don't want to make this. I just want to make this a perfect guide showing you exactly what you should do, not what I did because I did stuff wrong. Anyway, once you've killed up all of these enemies, you're done. You just need to go back to Avi Swartzman and you've completed the contract. So I'm going to let the rest of the gameplay play out. Hopefully this guy's come helpful, and I'll see you guys next one. Wow, well, I really can't speak English. But subscribe and follow me on everything and Twitter and links in the description, Discord and everything. That'd be awesome. All right, cool. Bye. Thank you very much, it's been real. Then, you don't know me, I was never here, goodbye.